Hi, my name is Yuka, and uh, I'm a Japanese tutor, and I'm tutoring for over 15 years in the, in the, in the based in England. And I know mainly I tutor, I taught in uh, Japanese to from younger children to the older generation, so whole age group. And then uh, I did online and also I'm teaching on the school as well. So I'm doing the, the school classroom setting. I'm used to it. And I did teach primary school, secondary school, college, and, and then and the adult education, all sectors. So I'm very familiar with, with any kind of student from little ones to old ones. In, in England, just the GCSE is finished. <laughs> so, <laughs> so at the moment it's quiet because I don't think anybody wants to think about next year's GCSE. So it's it's just at the moment it's the quietest time, and everybody just wrap it up their study and everything. So, and then now is the people are looking for the adult learner, more like a holiday learner rather than the GCSE or qualification learner. So it's that that that's, I'm I'm planning to do the summer workshop online so it's doing a short one and then if they want to continue afterwards to have a qualification so i think everybody first to to introducing the japanese as a, like a, their hobby or or the holiday so they want to learn just a basic conversation so that that's the thing is that it's now is the starting of that kind of inquiry starting off then those students they want to do the longer period and they're seriously thinking about to go to study in a university or longer the serious learner is starting from yes next academic year so it's it's at the moment it's quiet for that those children but yes so from september onwards is more teenagers people starting that qualification learning they are looking for more top up all those things so it's oh normally it's october november is quite busy yeah in, yes